It's the synchronicity for me. You know, if I didn't live my life personally, I wouldn't, I, I, I would, I would, I would see how some people would find it like not believing or she's making it up or whatever. If I didn't live my life personally, I'd probably think it's a fantasy too, but my life is very real as I'm looking at a cardinal right there, right there on a wire. I would turn around and show it to you, but I think the camera would like, but it's right there. So, and it doesn't things i show you these things i go on my walk and i actually show you these things there's no green screen blue screen or nothing this moves up on the thing hey you are like paying attention you are like right in you move closer to the conversation it's this stuff you know it's this type of connect it's this type of connection that can be scary if you're not used to what this type of connection is and what is this type of connection i'm still learning i'm still growing first off now cardinals are north carolina state birds me and my bestie talked about that yesterday it is like really sad when you get phones like you know like she had a friend who just got a new phone and you can't even use the phone in your house what's the point of spending money on the phones you phones are a scam you know who you are you phone companies you know who you phone companies are salute to the people who have landlines Keep your landline. I mean, you know, you may be a dying breed, but in time, sometimes old school is old school for a purpose. For real, for real. We got old because we were smart. Notice how some people never get old. Notice how uh, a lot of these young rappers and actors and stuff like that, they never get old. I'm, I'm coming outside. It was raining. It may start raining again, but uh, I'm just, oh, it's muggy out here. Oh, Lordy. Let's close the door. Trying to close the door so all the buggies won't come in. The Habitat House. I am not the Habitat House for pets. But yeah, you're still there. Hey, yeah, it's so cool. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, keep your landlines if you can. I'm going to keep mine for as long as I can. Uh, well, just because. Because some things are stationary and tangible for a reason sometimes technology is very good and very booming it's the technology you don't know about that they've been holding out on why because maybe they're either waiting for the right time maybe they think people can't handle the truth maybe you have some really narcissistic people that find the need of making money off of people's health and misery and death than actually keeping you well i mean you know what if people were if people were given the ability to live longer naturally why would you need big pharma as much as you do the medicines would not be as much as expensive as they are you know you you heard the thing about what is it um dang. you know I'm, I'm i just got up kind of but it's like you increase the need of something it's 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 a, it's a business terminology Supply and demand, supply and demand, yes, yeah, supply and demand, supply and demand. You reduce the supply, the demand becomes quicker. Remember how, like, when we first went into the pandemic, I said what I said, and then we were like, you know, we were starting to feel like Russia because you couldn't fi find toilet paper anywhere. Toilet paper, toilet paper. As much trees as, as they've cut down, as much paper as there is, there's paper everywhere. But we couldn't find toilet paper. Like in Russia, we had lot where you would pay like, you know, 20 bucks for, I don't know what it is. I don't live over there and I don't care. Uh, uh, and again, like with the whole Ukraine thing, I watch, I'm not going to get over that. I'm just saying, how is it that we are supposed to save the world and go everywhere around to save the world, but we can't save ourselves? But we can't save ourselves. Make America great again. When has that been? I like to hear, hear, hear a real conversation on that. When was America great? When exactly was America great? Can I get like five people around a round table and we have a real discussion? Do you know how much it, how impossible it is these days to get five real people to talk about stuff like that? Oh, I have five real people that we could have discussions like that. I only hang around people like that. I don't hang around people that feel like they got to steal the whole show and it's got to be all about them. Well, I, and I, and I sit your motherfucking monkey ass, Krigger ass down and learn respect. Everybody has a life. Everybody lives and dies. Everybody goes through problems. Everybody gets sick. Everybody's going to have up times and down times. But it's these people who, it's these people who, at, oh. 
And it's not that, but then you come after the good people who actually want to bring about solutions, who actually actually have some solutions, who actually want to eliminate the confusion. But you came after me. I think about the stuff that I used to say about Trump and Trump's family, and but I always said protect the Pisces boy, protect the Pisces boy, because Pisces, real Pisces, real Pisces gang be like that. Fake ass Pisces gang, y'all can fuck the fuck the fuck fuck off like all the rest of the low vibing motherfuckers and I said what I said I swear to God if my eyes could kill if I see any of you you all are dead I meant it they said better watch about our eyes so you might want to wear shades around me or maybe I wear shades around you because you can tell by my eyes whether I like you or I don't see I can't, my eyes don't lie so if you're saying something to me that looks stupid and looks cap and and I realize that you're going to see this. I mean, I don't know how some people are they they have no empathy. They're good actors and actresses until you catch them in their tea. Let's talk about acting and actors. Let's talk about uh what the military means to me. Now, I'm not even a military. I'm not even <laughs> Now, I'm not even in the military, but technically, you know, if you grew up in the military, everybody's in the military. I mean, one way, one way, one way or the other. It's, that's something that you can't get away from it. But actually, I'm pr I know, right? I know. But I'm proud of that legacy because you, because the world is always going to need the military. I know. I know. I know. The world is going to always need the military. What? Hey, hey, hey. I see you. I love you, too. How are you? Good morning. I do talk to the birds, but see, they're saying she's making up the stuff she does. Do I? Why don't you ask the people at Carver's Creek? They see me almost every day. Go see me this week. Well, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Let's let's hope the weather, the weather's going to be great. The weather's going to be great, okay? You know if I'm going to be out there, the weather's going to be great. So, you know, let's let, the, let's let the rain get out the way and let the sun come out, let the sun come out and uh, uh, and wear lots of peppermint. So if I be coming in with lots and lots of peppermint on me because, you know, mosquitoes and weather and warm weather and stuff like that, me and mosquitoes are not friends. Uh, but anyway, what was I, what was I saying? <laughs> the military. Why is the military important? Well, all the birds are coming out. Oh, wow. This is just like, this is the ultimate conversation between mom and dad. It's daddy's, it's daddy's month, July. Daddy is a, daddy is a, is a Leo July. It's also, again, happy birthday to uh, my goddaughter, Danny. My only, I only have one goddaughter. Regardless of what some, I'm her goddaughter. I'm her God. I have no goddaughters, okay? I have no goddaughters and I have no sisters. That's what I, that's what I realized. Uh, that's, that's what I have realized in the last six or seven months or maybe longer than that. It's just that sometimes you just don't want to see what you want to see, especially when you've been, you were a friend, but you realized you were dealing with a friend of me and that type of betrayal, that type of Judas Jesus betrayal, man, that takes something out of me. So I love the fact that, uh, I'm watched over. But I don't mind the monitoring by the military or that they watch over me because they know I will floor a bitch. If you ever come to me with that shit in my face, I mean, I'm not even going to like act like I, 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 I'm not even going to act like that. I might not catch a case automatically. There's something in me that. Well, I have such a disdain for that type of negativity. I have such a disdain for scammers, for just with no integrity. They feel like they have the right to just take people's lives and take people's words. They feel like they're entitled, right? They feel like they're entitled and they've never done nothing in their life but show up for a goddamn camera. Actors, 
actresses. I'm talking about the music industry too because that's just a bunch of actors and actresses. Listen, when it comes to who needs who, at the end of the day, and look what's going on. All the actors and the act and the actor skills are going on strike. What will you do? Well, I guess you'll focus on the military, won't you? Well, here's the deal about it. If we were going into a real war, will any of these actors and actresses go out and fight for you? Hell no! Never, ever, never, ever, never. They don't even know how to fight for themselves because they've been soft living on the good life. And one would say, well, Val, you're just jealous, right? How could I be jealous? I grew up living a good life. It was good for me. I didn't realize I was in poverty because I wasn't in poverty. It might not have been the best that some would like to see, but uh, I remember living with my aunt and my uncle, my godparents, and they didn't even have indoor plumbing at the time. So I remember when they got indoor plumbing. My parents did, though, but both my parents were in the military. So, you know, and I'm a child. So what am I going to do? I'm going to be bad. I got to go all the way out there to that toilet all the way out there, you know, in the field. You know, I mean, well, it was like all the way out there. But, you know, I also grew up around chickens and, 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 and pigs. And I mean, my aunt and uncle didn't have all that. But my grandfather, my grandmother, I grew up around food, real food, real farms. If you grew up around real farms, you know, real farms are the ish, man. You got food for days and then the government decided to take that away so they could sell you cheap ass food and put all types of stuff in it you wonder why all these kids look fat and are uh at, at 10 that they look like you know you know i realized that what was it was was melanie burke burke i think solomon burke's daughter was just good guy i think she was like 12 and she looked like a sex kitten at that but the Food. You look at the food that's made the cows fatter, the pigs fatter, the chickens bigger. Those hormones get into the children too. And on um, people of color in particular, black people in particular, whoever, wherever we are, it really affects our DNA. That's why you have so many people who are overweight. So it's one thing to say just you know go on a diet and not eat as much but you really got to change up the type of food you eat because the hormones in the food you eat affects you and it's not not one shot you're ever going to take that's going to take that shit out of you you got to do that yourself so you too have got to take responsibility and accountability every time you go to church you know you got to come and get some fried chicken and some pork chops and all that and your blood pressure's up and all this and all that and you say well jesus gonna fix it and jesus didn't tell you to put that pork chop in your mouth you know, you walk it, you know, all the only walk you doing is back and forth to the kitchen, to the refrigerator. What is wrong with you? And then you say, how much you love God? Do you? Do you? Do you? You know, I like you do. And then there's nothing like seeing a, a fat ass, you know, fat ass preacher of all, a uh, Kriga preacher. You know, and you know, I already established what the word Kriga is. Remind you, I told you. I always remember as far as the word nigga, the person who made the word is the, is the person where the word came from because you wouldn't know what a nigga was unless you made the word up nigga. So, you know, you had a vision, you saw it in yourself, and then you projected that on someone else. That's why no cracker should ever come up to me and try to diminish me or try to act like they're superior to me because they're white and I'm black. Bitch, I will blow you the fuck away so fast. Make my day. You'll see the black east with black east. Clint Eastwood come out okay. Oh gosh, I love debates. Like I love a cracker to look at me and think I'm stupid. You gonna do what? You wanna have a meeting of the mind, bitch? You done already lost. Mommy, I haven't had coffee yet, and you know, I'm my daddy's kid. Racism is real. The fact that in 2023 we're still on this deal is insane to me. So therefore, I have no time for conversations like that. I will just nip that shit off in the bud, cut off your head like a bad snake, keep on moving to the people who are awake. Maybe you're stupid, but your child might not be. Lo and behold, maybe that's the legacy that's going to carry on with the key because a lot of these people just need to pass away and die which is exactly what they're doing okay no lie but yet they're trying to preach to you about the good life and jesus is going to come and say what jesus when there are no j's just like there's no j today where is j tripping so uh so <laughs> take that however you want to but i'm but, I, but I, i'm the bad one okay how am i so bad look at look at look at where i live and yet i'm still happy
I'm still happy. I'm like Georgina Bailey. I mean, I had, I've had, like yesterday was such a wonderful, powerful day for me because I had, uh, it was real conversation with real friends and real family, my bestie, you know, I mean, my real bestie uh, since grade school. And there, there's, there's been like views that we can't always like agree to. But the thing about it is when you are real family, when you have real friends, no matter what, no matter what, real love is real love. You can have uh, arguments and disagreements, and you might not even speak for a while, but whenever we speak, it's like, you know, we just spoke the uh, other day. That's Those are the bonds that will never go away. Those are the ties that are for a lifetime. You have some people that are lifetime for what is a season, a reason, and a lifetime. I've had a lot of people who were, you know, with me for a season, some clearly for a reason, like last year, and for a lifetime. Military family is and I would like to think that the new people that I met the other day that live right around me could be my new family for a lifetime so don't be blown off by my language okay but you got to understand we grew up different and yet we didn't it's just that you have to be able to listen to how someone else lives instead of looking at the TV or looking at the movies or even looking at the history books because remember he who writes the history books writes the history the way they want it to look I'm going to say that again. He or she who writes the history books write the history how they want it to look. I will tell you as far as no one, 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 other than my mother and my father. And who who around here, who around here saying that my mom, oh, I'm her mother or I'm a father. None of these, none of them can claim that type of that type of authority over me none of them can mother or hover a father over me clear by your own actions you don't even know who you are why am i supposed to look up to you when you are beneath me does it hurt does it hurt then check yourself what do you really see mm. that's why i know the bird oh these birds man they they just these birds love me I'm glad. That means nature loves me. Love nature, nature will love you back. Love nature, nature will love you back. I've been saying that for a long time. Definitely since 2012. And I find it funny like on YouTube. And that's the funny thing. And people are starting talking about how YouTube, the YouTube views. I've been banned from YouTube from the very beginning. We talked about it. We laughed about that yesterday too. Like you can't tell. Like all of a sudden in the world, the land of democracy, you know, freedom of speech. There is no freedom of speech. <laughs> shout out to, uh, shout out to. I don't want to go there yet, but I see you, sir, and I think you see me too. I'm, 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 uh, I'm not saying I'm in your camp, but I'm not not in your camp. You know what I'm? I mean, I'm go get them because that's legacy. That's legacy. That's legacy. I mean, all, all, all that, all that mess, all that political mess is all of it is sus to me, but you know, it is what it is. So in the case of it, it's what it is. It's, it's demolishing. It is. It's crumbling. It's crumbling. But it's still going to be because it's, it's like building a house and a foundation. You, you can tear down the foundation, but in order to build a house, you still got to have the foundation, the cornerstone, and you got to build it up, okay? And regardless of what you like, there's always going to be some type of form of government because that's just... I do not understand these quote activists or rappers or actors or or or, or keyboard uh, uh, socialists. I, I didn't mean it like that, but it's starting to it's rain rain down on me. You know the ones who always want to talk about socialism and this and that and that, but they don't get out in it. They've never been out in it. People around this community. I have been in this community. What I'm 67 years old now. I've been in radio since what 85. If you haven't seen what I've done in the community, then clearly you didn't know me. If you haven't seen or heard me when I was doing my stuff on Foxy 99, who was the first female voice on Foxy 99? Who was for me? Me. Me and Tony Light were the first voices you heard when that show first came on the air. So for some of you to act like I'm not I wasn't even there, and for some of you to act like you do the very same thing I do, when you know damn well I see you, and I know for a fact I was there in my life and none of you weren't around. Either you were trying to steal from me, or either just trying to hang with a chick to see, you know, if you can just be me. That is some really 
twisted, sick shit that people have such a level of insecurity or insanity. This, 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 this white single female, like, I'm talking about the movie thing, because, you know, because there were black single females that were uh, coming after me, but it was that, that same energy. The white fe single female, you know, the movie, that type of energy, like, Okay, I'm gonna have to go Maleficent on a bitch, and then it's the and it's the and then the dudes on top of that. You got all these dudes that I know I can get with that. I want to get with that. First and foremost, I will talk to anybody. You know, we talked about that. My bitch and I we laughed about that because I because she's gotten on me. She actually it was weird because I probably was more like her mother. That's what I told you. I was probably more like her mother, and 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 and, and, and she was more like my mother. So we were like. We, Probably both our mothers look like, and our mothers were friends too. But brother, brother, I'm pretty sure our mothers had conversations on like, "Is that my daughter? Or is that your daughter?" You know, we're just <laughs> it, was, it was it was just weird. It was just it's just weird like that. But uh, but it's that energy where I have I have always had whatever that is, and I probably got that from my daddy. Where I will talk to anybody. I will like you know open myself up for a conversation with anybody or anything because of who I am and I'm a real empath but I don't even like to say empath anymore because everybody has an empath everybody has no everybody is not me it's like everybody's an oracle Every, notice how everybody's been an oracle over the last since the pandemic everybody's an oracle you go on YouTube and you got 50,000 oracles this is an oracle that's an oracle that's an, there go the birds this that this that this that this bitch over there so, or I mean I mean call you bitch but you know it's just a, it's the mood and I'm in it's the you know mother nature's on a huh. <laughs> she's on a cleansing mood that's why it's raining because we're cleansing and we're clearing but everybody's a divine empress you're not everybody's an oracle you're not everybody is somebody else but you're not so now you got actors and everybody and everybody wants to be a soldier everybody wants to be a soldier but you don't do real soldier shit you're just a motherfucking bitch you're just a trick you go around tricking the whole community, tricking the whole neighborhood, you trick out your own kids. I have never understood people who would sell their kids for crack. What is up with that? What in the world? I have never until and I, I would not have known it. So I'm actually I'm actually blessed with this experience. I needed to see what I needed to see because honestly, I did not know how low people could be. Hear the dogs barking. Serious is in the house. The dogs are coming out. They feel the energy. They say she knows what she's talking about. So there's got to be construction going on because this can't last. This can't last. Everybody's wanting to throw caps. Everybody's looking at each other like what? Everybody's thinking I'm the neighborhood snitch when I'm not the one going to everybody's trash cans and shit. Everybody's thinking I'm just trying to be me. Who fed your kids? Really? in this community when they were looking for food when they were looking for water when they were looking for somebody to help them with their homework while you are just snorting you know or, or or smoking or doing whatever you're doing or fucking around in somebody else's van who's feed, who's feeding your kids and so i'm the one you want to scam and you think that i'm gonna come after you you clearly don't know me and the legacy that i represent and was through me through and through you don't know val jones and that was the first thing you should have figured out i have a real conversation with people but niggas criggers whatever it be it's all the same to me that's the new word for 2023 crigger cracker ass niggas ignorance on all levels i call the devil a devil ignorance 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 i don't have time for a crigger now you shouldn't say those words you say it in movies and songs and everything all the time so when i finally call you one that you are then you got a problem with me saying it Oh, okay, okay. I cannot own up to my own life, okay? You want to steal that away. If I even remotely think that somebody got some money from me or stole some money from me or tried to steal my check, I'm coming for your neck. You don't have to worry about it. I'm outside. I'm out here in the open. For You know what? Let's have a vision. Let's have a vision. Because I told you in 2024, I will be teaching classes on how you really master your will by showing you how I master my will. So I know because I said that 50,000 people now are going to be, I'm going to be doing a class. You can't take this shit when it's real. 
the government is our enemy. That's not the treason. The treason is the government. Oh, I said it. Said it. Minute. That's sad. It's not what it's meant to be. Okay. I studied and mastered all my classes. Ask the real teachers who know me, not the fake ass motherfuckers. Let's go back to uh, Seabird Hills. Let's go back to Merkson Road. Let's go back to Bridges Street. Let's go back to either one of my neighbors. Shout out to the Fowlers. My my my. See, I take that personal. Because when I wanted to talk about the good neighbors, the good black community, then it shuts off. Maybe it's the science. Maybe it's the technology. Maybe it's the scamming ass phone companies. I will be changing my service soon. Because T-Mobile, you're full of shit. And we all know. Not my people. I love my people. But T-Mobile, the company, you're full of shit and you're a scam. Most of these companies are a scam. They know right off the bat. Those ask yourself how many former T-Mobile companies there are. You got the good advertising, all this and all that, and the pink and all that. Wow, whoa. Maybe we should not do anything pink. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe you know you just went with the go go the birds again. Maybe you know we just go with the flow. But I'm just saying, the minute I start to talk about a good and 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 wealthy minded black community, you don't want to hear it. But if I talk about some nigga shit, oh, you're all for it. Yeah, let's talk about the ghetto. Let's talk in the ghetto. White people are in the ghetto, too. Like, the, the ghetto's full of white people. Like, the ghetto, like, 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 social services, people on food stamps and all that. A lot of white people. A lot of white people, okay? A lot of white people, a lot of Hispanics people, a lot of Mexican people. It was weird. Well, I go into that uh, another, because I, I'll go into that another level. Everybody's everybody, okay? You have, I'm telling you, when everybody wanted to say, we're going to make America great again, in what way? Let me tell you something. You can get all the black people together. That's impossible. You can get all the uh, black Americans together. You can get all the Asians together. You can get all the white people together. You can get all the Hispanics together, Latinos. They see, it's, just, it's Hispanic and Latino. There's an argument with that. You call one the other, you might be ready for, for a fight. No cap. It's just like, you know, you call a Chinese, Japanese. <laughs> you know what? It's, 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 it's stuff like that. But that's what I'm saying. You can't look at a person's race and say, well, we're going to have just one race and it's just going to be us. Because they're still confusion okay because people are people and there's always going to be pe pe people who you can't trust that look just like you so you better recognize the enemy and make sure that the enemy is not you the fact that you have had the government and the Hollywood and the entertainment industry come together as a scam to rob the best people in the world I'm just I'm like damn and these are people I supported unknowingly like, I supported the entertainment industry by pushing, doing what I do, part of my philanthropy. I didn't ask for a lick. I didn't ask for a bag. It's just that I love good music. I love good vibes. I love good poetry. I, I was raised on good culture, good arts. Before there were integrated schools, I was smarter than most of the people. When we integrated, when we went to Stedman Junior High, I was smarter than most of the people, most of the white people that were there at the school. That's no cap. The funny thing is that for me to come in there and they look at me like I'm some little nigga kid that they grew up with, and that's not all of them because actually I they feared we didn't have that much of a problem because you already had people that grew up and were around each other. Country folks sometimes, sometimes, some country folks are a little bit different. I mean, I was the first black person, the cheerleader, and there was no, there was no problem. There was not a problem on our cheerleading squad. I mean, I practiced at there. It's stories like that that they don't want to hear. That you actually had black people and white people who got along at Cape Fear. And we were actually family. Many of us were military people, military brats too. So I'm just saying, there's something about that. There's an energy, there's a synergy, there's a loyalty. There's a like, we look at people as they are and not what the rest of the world want us to see because we're right here with them. But just like in my own community where I grew up on Bridger Street, I had uh, my, between my neighbors, I had like one guy that was mafia connected. One, you know, person was my fifth grade teacher who was my cousin. Another one uh, up the street was uh, a cousin, was a couple of professors, a couple of lawyers, right around the corner on Merkson Road. My fourth grade teacher, Miss Wood, was uh, Robert McAdoo's aunt. McAdoo, Bob McAdoo, like at UNC, Bob McAdoo. I would give her, I would send her Christmas cards 
every year and I would go by to visit her sometime at least once a year because I thought she was just the coolest teacher and her handwriting was just beautiful Mrs. Wood and everybody thought she was so mean but you know she was good she just wanted the best it seemed like the teachers who really wanted the best out of you you thought they were mean but you didn't understand maybe what they had went through but I did. But you got these little, these little nigglet kids that just want to be out in the streets, much like, and 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 they, and they are part of the. They're they're leaving the legacy of what you got the little nick, the little bad bitches, little bitch for life, little thug whole life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We living. Yeah, yeah. Put all those bitches out in the middle of a war and let's see how bad they be. How dare you even think that you got a legacy like me? It's that type of art that you want to play up in my face with that backside of hate and you got some of these so-called community leaders these preachers these so-called teachers that are just fake 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 I have had enough this is like what day five of what was supposed to be a three-day event but I promise you after this week shop I'm going to be right where I need to be mentally because it's like that last enema that I got to get it out of my system. <laughs> so just call this a spiritual laxative that i just taken and I'm spitting it all out. People know exactly what I'm talking about. We're just tired of the audacity. And every time it gets to be an election year, it really comes out. The clowns, the clowns, the clones, and the massiveness. Oh yeah. Now I see I'm not gonna fight with I'm not gonna fight with the construction out there. I'm gonna just go back in the house. But I pretty much have said what I need to say. Like I'm representing the good black people who we were smart and brilliant every way. We were the best, not best black. We were the best everything. But that's the part of the Fayetteville that they don't want you to see and don't want you to know about because these crazy criminal ass crackers got together with crazy criminal ass niggas and they want to keep everybody down. That's why I talk to you people in the military, my town, my folks. And remember, like I told my new family yesterday, is remember, you because you just came here. You're going to run into it. Everybody who comes here run into it. I used to say when I'm at that Starbucks, and then, and then I notice how people like, Starbucks, you owe me money, by the way. You know you do. I expect my money or at least free coffee for life. That's the least you can do. That's the least you can do. <laughs> you make money, I'm claiming my free coffee for life. Chop, chop. And housing, too, on base. I want all of that, okay? What do you want? I want that. I want free coffee for life, and I want housing on base. Good housing. Not some moldy, not some moldy, poldy, penny ass, you know, stuck up in a cabin, back cabin with, with your old, where you, you put the excess equipment or something. I know, right? Don't be doing that. No cap. You spend all this money changing signs, but, you know, you still blind. You still blind to the fact that your troops that fight for you, that fight for your life, are still living in horrible conditions. They cannot get mental health. You, the nerve that you talk, mental health, mental health, mental health. You got to call a professional. You just got to get mental health, mental health. You got the craziest bitches, gender not specific, up here talking about mental health, and we're fighting for mental health and life. And they're, and, and, and they're saying that then around the corner. That they're doing some. And it's like you like I can't see this. Like I'm supposed to ignore it. Okay, then let me just step away. Let me just not see it. But when you come up in my face and you saying that shit and you act like if I am who I say I am and hashtag I am. Hashtag I am. Hashtag I am that I say that I am and I prove it every day. Put me on a lie detector test. I demand ten of them. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play justice. Let's play court of law. Give me a table with 10 lie detector tests and put all these bitches who say I'm this and that, whatever. Okay, let's do it. Let's do that today. My aunt says, come on, let's play. Segment says, come on, let's play. Segment doesn't drink today, so therefore Segment got all the fire. But it's raining, so, you know, for the moment you're okay. <laughs> Oh, they even had to slow the, uh, the they, they, they even like quiet down over there. Wow. When the truth speaks, the world shuts down. And truth is speaking loudly. You're ran by a bunch of clowns. And clown town is coming down. 
It's got to. You can't you can't build on top of that. <laughs> That's not sound. None of that is sound. The equipment's not sound. The technology's not sound. You got technology, but you hold it back from people because you want to make money. It's all about money now. It's all about capitalism. There's one thing about capitalism. Capitalism is necessary, but you've gone well beyond that. The Rockefellers and the people who made the brand, who built the brands back in the day. I'm talking about the real Rockefellers. Not the... Okay. Okay, Mommy. Mommy said, that's all right. We got them. Don't worry about it. We got them. Stay on your course. Woo! It's these fake whores. It's these, it's these fake hood rats and whores. And these fake thugs. These fake pimps. These fake chimps. These fake ass. And I'm calling you out. You fake ass, clown ass, low ass, disturbing ass, low vibing. You so-called masons, Freemasonry and Eastern stars. You have made a mockery. Of every How do you fuck up everything? You fuck fucked up everything. You fucked up the culture. You fucked up the community. You fucked up music. You fucked up the entertainment industry. You fucked up your own group. You fucked up your own society. You fucked up the code. If my art or ISIS or thought came through right now, what would they do to you hoes? Gender not specific. Maybe that energy is coming through. Maybe that energy doesn't feel like dancing on a stage and shaking their ass and turning kids out so they can turn out and be trash. Maybe you don't mind it. Maybe that money and that drug got you feeling some kind of way so you can't even feel that you deep dark down in the with the devil. You like dealing with the devil. Actually, you don't because we see that shit in your eyes. Oh, you can't see your eyes because your eyes are black like your heart. So you want to come for the kid, right? It's always that case. Kill her. Kill her. Take him out. Take out the chosen one. I don't even want to be the chosen one, but you got this hoe on YouTube saying she the chosen one and she ain't nothing but a trick ass slut ass hoe. And then you got, oh, you got the uh, well out there who like, you know, he can't get on the stage. He crying and throwing shit be throwing out chosen by who chosen by the little shroomy shroomy kids in calabasas oh oh y'all are a bunch of screwed up screws oh you mad now you mad now well write a book bitch oh i guess that's what you're going to do how's the other book going for you yeah how that movie too oh man it's that stuff that if people knew if people knew, but they want to match with me with the mind, if I wanted to take on this industry, I would slay each and every one of you every time. That's why this is the dilemma. How can we get her in the industry? How many times did you call up on my phone? I want your ass. That was, was that was, was that supposed to like, was that supposed to make me scared? Guess what? Look again. Not Twitch, bitch. So what does that mean? Not Twitch, bitch. And, uh, Emmy, I hope you were real. Because we had a real conversation. But I hope you were real, too. Because if not, then I want you to go and tell your crew. Oh, she's serious. We might need to either watch her, work with her, or maybe just leave her alone. Because she's really, really real. When you talk about witches and stuff like that, did I shrivel up? They go, ah! you know, especially since we were around that, you know, energy. And, you know, and remember I told you, like, like, you know, they talk about stuff, but they talk about stuff that they don't know. They never do. Welcome to here. They want to be that. They want to be all cultural and this and all that. But they're stuck. They're stuck because they've never been off the farm. They'd never been outside of the town. When they do, they just go and clown. They don't know. You got two-year-old military brats who know more than they'll ever know. Ain't that sad? Or at least maybe I'm speaking about myself. No wonder my parents did not want me to go out. No wonder my aunt definitely didn't want me to go out. She tried to keep me all to herself. I thought this woman was just crazy sometimes and just too protective. But now that I see what she was protecting me from, it's really crazy when you are living on a street and all that's your friend, all that's your family. But they're more frenemies than family. 
I knew how to walk to my aunt's house that was up the street. They hated when I do that, but I could though. I mean, you show me a couple of times to go and then I can go, go by myself. They hated that. But I knew how to go up to my aunt Esther and Mary Catherine's house. I knew how to go around the corner to Papa's house. Oh, they hated that they showed me that because the couple of times I went through the woods that it couldn't find me because it's like about a mile walk, I guess. And it's like, you don't do that by yourself. And I used to go and walk through the woods all the time by myself. And now I'm at a place where I can walk through the woods all by myself. That was comforting and peaceful for me. And I was going to see my grandpapa, right? And we'll have these wonderful stories. That's why I said, it's like, you know, how do I have all this land, but I have no land? But it's like vacant, 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 vacant. We talked about that yesterday, too. Now, what would happen if I just claim it? But, you know, what can I do? It's air property, so you can't sell it. So, you know, if I got it, I would just sell it all right out from under them. Why not? They ain't done shit with it. They ain't going to do shit with it because that's all they know is how to sit and shit and talk about people and preach. I mean, if you're feeling some kind of way, if you're feeling some kind of way, think how I must feel. Let's keep that real. I understand why you didn't like grandma. She literally clay cleared and laid out the field and you just sat and did nothing and hated on her because you just was going to let her die. My daddy would have to always come out there to check out on her every week. It wasn't that he would just loved his mama so much, which he did, but that was his mama. But who else was going to take care of her and check? Y'all right there. 50,000. I mean, you know, I don't even want to talk about that. They they got to know if they're mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, so that jealousy, man, that jealousy, that jealousy. I was it wasn't an elitist thing. It was just I understood the legacy. You have land. You have property. You have a history. There's so much to build on productivity. And you just made nothing of it. But God, but God, but God, and I'm looking at you now and all of you look like but frauds, but frauds. And don't tell me about this chick over here does magic and this chick over here does magic. Bitch, I'm a, I've always been a better and bigger witch than you will ever be. Grandmommy taught me everything. What did she teach you? That's why you mad at me. And as far as grandpapa... I listen to the stories. All those pictures, whatever happened to those pictures? You know what? You have to look at the person that was living with them. Who had her own jealous energy of, I don't know. I don't know what that was about. That both at the end of the day, my grandmother and my grandfather ended up with people that just used them up. Wow. The house just said, yep. And they cursed themselves. The best, her best family, her best children, she basically ignored. And the ones that were just drama, she put them up, I know, she put them up like they were the best. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to go back into family secrets like now because it doesn't even matter to bring that shit up. I'm just telling you about my story, all right? And it was just too much. It was just too much. And that's why, you know, you don't come back to stuff that you don't go. Oh, yeah, I rock with this. You don't go back to stuff that uh, when you realize you have been touched the wrong way too many times. Like my cousins that were across the way. I would hate to go out to Papa's house. I love growing out to Papa's house. I love going out to Papa's I love my grandpapa. But I would hate to go right across the street to my cousins. And my mom could not understand why I did not like visiting my cousins. And I think she really liked, well, this was her brother. I think she felt like her brother would be, have more control over his family. Like she could, she just think, well, no, it was just kids being kids. But no, these kids were trying to kill me. They were either trying to take all the bows out my head. They were either trying to push me into tent, tent push me into, the, uh, I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got, man, I've got so many. I can show you the scars all over my body. <laughs> from play not just regular child's play okay jealousy jealousy and hate is a hateful thing and all these people will talk god 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 and they're the most demonry insane people ever i don't know what that curse is but luckily i'm thank god that you know it didn't come off on me but maybe that's why my mom and my dad left 
that property. They will only go out to visit their family. So for those who say, well, you're not going to get the land, like when the angel said, well, we're going to get that land back. I don't want it because they have tainted it so much. You know how you can salt stuff. You've got so many curses or so much bad juju. Good morning, Victor. Ma, I love you. How you doing today? I'm good, and thank you again for cutting the grass. I thank you so much. I thank you. See, I you know what? This is, I am surrounded by, one thing I can say is that when people say, is she alone? I have family. I do. I have real people in my life that um, I have family. This man has been more family to me than most of the people that I have met in the last 20 years, 30 years. It was weird. As, as dysfunctional as this place can be, as this, as this community can be a hell of dysfunctional, but as dysfunctional as this community can be, and I have lived many places. I've lived on. I've lived in mansions. I've lived in you know off of golf courses. I've lived you know in some of the nicest homes. I've had some nice homes. I've lived you know in some pretty cool places, pretty cool jobs. But it was only till I came here that I had to be humbled on some things and to just see what I needed to see because it's one thing when you hear about it or see it in the movies or, or, or in TV or read about it but it's another thing when you see it in person to see how people really treat their children or how they treat themselves or how social services there is no help and social ser the social services is broken I mean what do you do and we saw that in Florida Florida oh my god Florida is fucked up I'll never go back to Florida ever somebody you need to come to Florida no I don't my husband <laughs> Florida, Florida. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know which is gonna fall off in the ocean first Florida California but you know what Yeah, uh, it's getting ready to be some changes, boys and girls. It's getting ready to be some major, massive changes in the next couple of years. I suggest that you don't call on God, but you call on yourself because I'm telling you, you can call on God till the cows come home, but if you're sitting there feeding yourself all of this GMO food and uh, drinking all this stuff, and I, I, I can go back back in the day where you know my grandmother ate hot dogs every day for the rest of her life. She lived to be 98. That's fine, but your grandmother wasn't eating hot dogs that I have now. <laughs> Oscar Mayer now is not Oscar Mayer back then. You know what? Y'all need to watch. Uh, I don't, you know, watch what you want to. I don't. I'm not going to tell you what you need to do. But I'm watching more of the 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 food that built America and more of the History Channel and the real brands. Like I love hanging out on Rockefeller Land. Real Rockefeller land like you know Jay-Z and Beyonce can buy whatever the fuck they want to buy but they're never going to have the legacy of a real Rockefeller okay because that is a brand that Rockefeller is the brand no 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 cap to Damon Dash I mean shout out to Damon Dash and you should know because you know shit that was your cash and they stole from you so dude I see you I get you. You know more. You know better than I do. When you can, I'd work with you. Maybe I don't know. It depends on where your mindset is at. But I know most of these people are straight up trash. And I mean, you got to like, you know, work magic on people. You got to like hold people over the eyes. You got to like set up people for felonies and then turn just to turn around and bail them out of jail and then make you make them indebted to you. And then what was the deal with me? Because I did not want to be, because everybody who knows, everybody knows that the industry is full of shit, that you do have to deal with the devil. If you want to move up that chart, all those people who ran up the chart, trust me, they done fucked somebody. They done fucked somebody or been fucked over. They done sold their heart, their soul, and everything. They're just trying to do what they need to do before they die for their kids, okay? But you want to come and sacrifice me? I'm like the uh, audacity the audacity i helped you for free and you're going to return the favor by putting a hit out on me and now that that hit didn't work you want to come back and say well yeah we're sorry we want to know if you can get okay i tell you what i tell you what i tell you what okay i tell you what this 
is this is where my apology begins. You want you want a real apology, my friend? I tell you what. Let me punch you in the face real hard five times. Real hard. Real hard with all my power and my might. Five times. And if you don't flinch, we can talk about starting a new paradigm. But I think you can't even see me face to face because you are fucking fake. And that includes your whole goddamn family. You hide in the shadows. You hide behind schemes. You hide behind keyboard queens. What is a queen? You got every little whole at whole trap bitch thinking she we are queens and you got the good kids who don't understand what that means well if that's a queen and i'm a queen am i that no baby you're not that you're none of that you don't want to be none of that let's let that get established all queens aren't the same all kings aren't the same and you got people who don't even know who the fuck they are you got no you're not the same don't get confused it's the confusion that you went straight for the kids you want to get the confused the kids don't know who they are and why is that so you can make them little industry puppets just like you little government simps everybody wants to have a little uh uh, uh stormy daniels y'all mad at trump like he the only one like he the only one. You know what he was doing? He was shedding some light on. This is what it is, all right. I can't be mad at that now. Because you know what? At least I have the ability to look at something and think cognitively and say, Well, you know lie about that. Well, I mean, you know, you know. I speak my mind. And that's why I said I have talked shit about him the whole time he was in office. Remember when I told you when I was the one. Let's go back to... Let's go back to the fact that I told someone right before he got elected of the whole vision I had. Mark Marcel even did a video about that. And now that I, now that I think about it, who, who was Bobby? Who was Mark? Who's anybody? That's where this thing got really, 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 really weird because it seemed like it seemed like that Zazel spirit was jumping into everyone. Like, was I talking to the same person? Because these are people I never met. You just saw on camera, right? Or you just saw on camera or you heard on the phone. But this AI life is real and it's been a long, 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 long time. But the thing about it, what you didn't know was that I was real. I am that I am. Hidden in plain sight. Not in a mansion, all right? Somewhere where people wouldn't even expect me to be. Where would you hide your most precious treasure? Where no one would see? Except if you were really, really real. These folks here, a lot of them are fucked the fuck up. But I guarantee you there's at least one child that I helped. And that's enough. And that child is going to help someone one day. They're going to have a story to say. And they're going to start their legacy. Yeah. There was this one little boy that uh, I can't think of his name. Actually, he actually when I think about it, it and I hate even bring this person's name up at all. But uh, and he was a Pisces. Oh wow, gosh, almighty, that's weird. He was a Pisces too, and he literally. I mean, I saw a, a, a video or something like that with Tyler the Creator, and it was a look that Tyler had, and he looked just like the little boy that used to help. That that wasn't him, okay? Because that was like a couple of years ago. But no, no, no. This kid was like about twelve. And uh, and he was all problematic and this and that and da, da 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 da. I think his parents were trying as best as he could, but he was problematic. But you know, he was very precocious. And he, I know he's. I know. That's when I had to start getting these kids out of my house because then they wanted to get in my house and then they're going to play hide and seek. And I'm like, this is not your house. This is not your house. I'm not Miss Peregrine. I'm not, I'm not the habitat for humanity here. And it's like when you give children love, when they've never had real love, or you give children real love without wanting anything. Like I would, you know, I would, get, I would, I would give them candy and I would say, okay, let's, 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 let's talk about your homework, what you got going here. Or I give them candy just to open up like, okay, well, let's talk about why, why you got kicked out of school. What happened? Who started the fight? Why? What did you do? 
Why did you do it? Why are you doing this? Like the little chick that, uh, the little ringleader. And they know who she is. They knew her. That she's the one, one of the main ones that started the mess. Got her parents or whatever riled up because I closed the door on her. I don't know what she told you, but that little lying ass heifer. You know, you got to check some of these little bitches because they'd be some lying ass little heifers. Like the little kids around the corner who tried to curse out on me. And I went to my landlord and said, listen, before you hear it from me, I just cursed out the community and I just cursed out these kids because I'm a military brat and I'd be God damn, if I'm going to let anybody's child curse out me, just because you let your child or your children curse out you, bitch, I will break all of you. I ain't got no kids for a reason, clearly. All my, all my, all my uh, well, not all of them, but some of my friends, my male friends said, you don't need any children. Why? Because you will be too hard on them. I will be too hard. I'm the sweetest person I know. They would just be right. You know, I my my mom and my dad weren't hard on me, and I realized that hating, hating, uh, happiness haters, that has become an industry. That's the new trend. Happiness haters. You see people who are happy, who are legitimately happy, not fake happy. You look at the fake happy. You look at you know. I mean, really, honestly, do you feel like people like Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat and all these people do they look happy? I mean, do their life look... Is that the life you want? I can tell you people around here who went out to California, wanted to make it big, and now they're still back around the block selling drugs. What happened? <laughs> or they become new activists and stuff like that. Okay, well, you know, do you. But, you know, don't play, don't play in front of me, and I won't play in front of you. It's sad when you have so-called kin that be up in your face, and they think they don't know. Do you know who I am? Well, now, do you know who I am? If I don't see you, it's on purpose. Somebody else is already looking at you. I have been told. Let that go, V. Because when that goes down, you don't want to be there. Anyway, but this is this change, 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 changes. I don't know what's getting ready to happen to this community, but I know there's some massive changes going on. But you know what? Either way, I'm going to be fine. Because I've earned mine, legitimately earned mine. I've made good inroads with good people, good business leaders, business leaders who've built their business from the ground. Not from a sound of what they seen on radio or TV or, or all this mockery, this fuckery of what the pandemic made everybody feel like. You know, everybody, we all had to go inside and then all the scammers come out. And so the real scammers found a place to hide and they used you as fuel and tool. All y'all going to jail. They, they're going to try to ups, excel, ex, exhale and excel off of your work. And that's why I say I really despise the fact that the industry just takes and takes and takes and doesn't give to the people who set up their legacy or gave them even the ammunition or the uh, the fuel. Everybody wants to talk about the military. Military. Everybody wants to wear camouflage. Now camouflage, did, did the influence influence that? Who is the influence? Are you the influence? Who are you influencing? What are you influencing? It seems like you are a part of the transgender influence. And again, I'm saying this is not a matter of what you want to do. But why don't you talk to somebody after about three or four or five years after they've gone through their transgender experience and see how they feel? You won't do that. Or are they even still here? Won't just give out those stories, but you won't though, because we all know that what this really is is you're trying to make everybody some type of really weird, strange clone. Like I said, you're really trying to make our robots. The only thing is, these this is not a movie. Those planes have real people and real bombs and real shit. This is not a movie, and there is no fucking Will Smith. Will Smith can't even take care of and stand up for his own family. Sir, don't be mad at me. And don't come off and bring that bully-ass, bitch-ass energy to me. I will break your whole goddamn family. Y'all have pissed me off to the highest degree. So if there is a lesson in 2023, what needs to come out of each of your mouths is do not fuck with thee. Until I hear that, I'm going to...
stay on your ass. Ooh, the kitty. <laughs> Where the kitty come from? <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> Said that the cat ran. Oop. <laughs> it's the secret, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh. I'm not gonna say it, mom. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. It's the words. It's the, uh, you know what? Any Gemini that comes up against me, you're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. I'm gonna say you're stupid. And I know that makes you feel some kind of way. That bitch feel that kind of way. You are stupid. I have a first and second house Gemini. Ain't no astrologer on this planet can tell you about me more than me. The whole deal of this journey is learning how to master your will. So whenever I come to you and give these seminars, I will be giving you what I have gone through and I'm showing you now so I'm already showing you my book I don't have to write a book you're watching the book of Val you're watching the book of me go back to my videos I mean I've taken a lot of them off on YouTube I think I damn I think I took off some of the ones that I was doing in 2012 I didn't mean that and and then my computers have crashed and my hard drive crashed so I'm gonna see if I can bring some of that back but if not you know what past this past and we're moving forward anyway so it's not about then it's just it's just a matter of showing you this is where I was and this is where I'm at and I've been saying these things that they're all saying on social Social media and YouTube now so all that shit is capped because they're going along with the narrative and I've never really gone along with the narrative because you know the narrative is me in my life so mo that be so uh, I mean you know what when you show them but they don't believe I get it you can put them in the face you can put it in their face and I never believe it so why bother but this is for that one child or that one man or that one woman that says you know what I believe her because I am her not that you are me but you know what you 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 resonate you have that you have a similar story no story is the same we're all different so no one can ever be the same no one can ever be twins like that because we come from different we all have differences is something in the DNA that you're always going to be different, but you got people, you got scientists who are trying to make the same thing. It's all one thing. Do you know how dangerous that is? You're trying to take nature out of nature. You are trying to take nature out of nature and assimilate it in a lab. Those motherfuckers be mad. Mad scientists always have the same What's the word I'm looking for, mommy? What's the word I'm looking for, daddy? Mad scientists are like mad scientists, evil narcissists, and people who just straight up about war, war, war for no reason always have the same sad tragic ending read up in history that part really is there for everybody to see oh but I forgot you can't read oh! you can't read but you write in a book you can't read and your audience can't read but you write in a book for people who can't read you couldn't read your contract or you wouldn't found your ass in a trap but you did and now you want to come back. I can't take you out of that because I told you to read like you didn't read me. Oh, but we're all empaths. We're all oracles. We're all just like me. Then, bitch, if you were just like me, then you should have known. Oh, she's in her zone. No, baby, I'm just beginning. I'm 67 years old and looking better every day. I thought about dying the hair, dying away all the gray. And I might. I don't know. It just depends on, you know, how I wake up each day to day. Because, you know, I've had the hair, cut off the hair, had the hair, cut off the hair. But this hair is a tribute to the fact that I could look at people who look just like me, who have locks. See, because it's not the dreadlocks that make people bad. It's not the fact that, you know, they wear dreads or they have hair and locks. It's the energy behind some of the people. You have some people just like everything else that they'll try to take, you know, they'll, 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 look, at, they'll look at stuff and they'll think, 
Oh, that person's bad. That's my Protect your treasure and she will protect you. I speak for my crew. Again, I say it's really such a disservice and a slap in the face. Number one, you talk Camp Lejeune, Camp Lejeune, Camp Lejeune, Camp Lejeune, but we are still surviving from the first Saudi, first Saudi war. My husband thought, my husband thought that I did something on purpose. That I had, you know, and I didn't. That, uh... I was pregnant and, and, and lost a child. I didn't know. I mean, that one time I didn't. I mean, there have been times. There have been times. I'm not even going to lie. I broke up with a crazy ass Virgo who was only about just making babies everywhere. And that nigga stalked me forever. For, I mean, even moved. I mean, it was like the, the length. The length of. That's why I know for a fact in this case. You know, my, my, uh, mm -mm, my, uh, I, on, on one hand, I got some, a couple of really cool Virgos, but on the other hand, I got some horrible, horrific, horrific ones that they're, they're my, the stalking level and the arrogance, the, the narcissistic arrogance of, I won't even say his name. That's why I said, don't, don't bring me people with the name of K. Anytime I hear the name K, it's like, which K? Which K? Which Kenny are we talking about? Which only K I'm in, 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 interested in is potassium. So if we're not talking about potassium, screw that. There goes the butterfly. Yeah, but this, bro, no, mm -mm, no. And I just, and for a minute, I thought like, oh my God, you know, and I was late. And I'm like, nah, this will never happen. Because if he ever remotely finds this out, then I'll never. And he got married too. How you get married and you calling me? I had to cut the phone off. I had to cut my cell phone off and unplug my phone. You got married and you're calling me at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. Who is knocking on my door at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning? There are people, if I was the type of person that was to call the cops like that, I'd be trying to give brothers their life back right and then they do this shit and see this is one thing I, I know I know I'm tapping right now but this is one thing I know that you cannot take this for granted and you cannot uh, uh, you cannot ignore this because people are in a mental type of way these people kill people okay I'm not saying that he would but I don't know who will and who won't so I take it seriously when I start to see that crazy look in you when I start to see that glossy eyes in you when I start to see like uh, uh something is very askew oh bitch I'm gonna come for you either I'm gonna leave you alone Cause I don't play crazy. I take crazy serious. Some of you don't. Some of y'all like to play crazy. No, I'm not playing crazy. I don't. I take crazy hella serious. Cause I know that I, there are a lot of people in the grave right now who should have taken some people serious. Remember another conversation with my bestie? She knows. I had to. And you know, she's. You know, I mean, she's strapped. She. You know, she was going. She could take care. But I'm saying, no, no, no. No, don't meet this person there. No, the people isolate you and you meet them somewhere, nowhere, and they can do anything to you. There are a lot of people that are pushing up daisies. Famous last words, he'll never hurt me. Or she'll never hurt me. Last words, R.I.P. No, I take crazy seriously. So when I remotely see that, and I have dealt with, I have, I have, uh, I'm a smart kid. So I have dealt with enough craziness in my life now to know, no, nah, I don't do that shit. There's a lot of things I used to do that I don't do. There's a lot of people I used to hang with that I don't. And if I don't hang with you, then you should know why. Because you're either you can't grow or you're crazy. So either way, you know, we don't we don't relate like that. But if you want to stalk me, if you keep putting me in your mouth, you know, if you keep wanting to stalk my life because you don't have a life, then bitch, you're going to find out what I'm about personally. Daddy said, oh, the sun is coming out of me. Daddy said, okay, rephrase that. Daddy says, he's going to show you what I'm about personally. And mommy says, that's all right. We're going to chill in the weather, and we're going to let the storms in the sea take them out. So you decide to mess with not only the Reaper's kid, but Mother Nature's kid. Oh, my, my, my. Oh, my, my, my. And I'm not high.
I'm not Erica Badu, cause she can't do the things I do. I'm not Riri either. I'm not into SM or keeping a broke ass rapper, baby. <laughs> That's not my shit or my shim or my him or whatever it be. Don't be mad at me. Y'all want to make a mockery out of everybody else, including me. And now I throw the I throw the camera and the mirror back on you and you got a problem with me, then bitch bug the fuck fuck off how many times did i play your shit how many times did i bring I, I give you some hits how many times did i give you the energy where energy flows attention goes isn't that what they say where energy goes attention flows where attention flows energy goes however that works but it's true and i gave all these people energy too and i gave the people who were coming out of the community i gave them yeah, I did. I did. I didn't have to. Remember, I was the first person on Fox 99. I was breaking format all the time. I was playing the good music and not the same old 10 songs. I'm not going to let a white person tell me what black people like to listen to as far as music. It's the insult to injury. It is the insult to injury. No offense. We all cool, but it's the insult to injury if you ever remotely think that I'm going to let some Jewish boy or any white boy with a ponytail tell me about black music when I grew up on this shit. Bitch, you bow down. I don't give a fuck what type of money you think you have. Let me tell you something. Who you going to get? The mafia? The Italian? The Jewish community? None of these people coming after me and we all know why. I could be a friend to your boss. And we all know why. Do you feel the breeze? It's humid and muggy. And it was raining like crazy. And yeah, I'm sitting here. With the sun looking through the clouds. And I'm feeling the breeze. It's the movie of me. No, this is not a movie. Porn stars make movie. This is a documentary. It's the... The makings of Val. The Bright Oracle. The DF. The documentary film. I speak for myself. Because I have a mouth and I have a mind. And I'm not going to let muggles who want to steal my shine. make me blind you want to make the community blind for me that's all right my work speaks for me my history speaks for me I see a lot of my pictures disappearing off of uh why come I can't find a picture of Mr. Gaines of uh you know my man from it's a different world I have pictures of that all on the internet and they're gone Facebook be doing some shit. See, I see the shit that y'all are. But that's all right. Because real legacy lives on. You going to erase... You, you going to erase Carver's Creek too? <laughs> Bet you won't. Because <laughs> that dude's out there. I know. I know. They look at me, but they know. They're ghosts out there. But they're cool ghosts. At least they're cool for me. You know, this is... This, it's, it's like my old little skinwalker ranch. But don't bring all those cameras out there, okay? Because we're all about peace. Because my soldiers need a place for peace. We need a place where we can come out and look at nature. Even the snakes. It's like, now that we all know, like, oh my God. That was a, like a real, real-ass water moxin. <laughs> now that I know... I've actually put my hand in the water. I'll do stuff like that, you know. Tomboy, you know. I mean, it's cool when you get around nature kids and woodsy kids and stuff like that. Listen, you can't get around. You can't. You can't, you can't get some of these black people to do. They're, they're so tough and they're, they're so bad and they they can go up in the middle of a, a, of a drug infested field, but you get them around nature. They, <laughs> it's a snake, bitch. It's just a snake, <laughs> or it's just a squirrel. I'm like, you be around people like that every day. They're in your family, okay? You got worse snakes around your family. You know, your drug dealer's a snake. Do you know what you're... Is that real weed you're smoking? Is that fentanyl? You have no friends in this culture. You think you're buying one thing, you're getting another. They don't care. Everybody's trying to feed their family. So trust me, your friend today could sell you fentanyl tomorrow. That's why I don't do... I don't I do not do that shit, okay? I'm not... Uh, I'm not... Uh, 
against real roster weeb. I don't know no real rosters. I'm not, I'm not a fucking rent a dread. These motherfuckers around here will get you dead. And that's and that's the point where that's why when everybody was cutting off their hair for the trend for the trend or the agenda or to make somebody feel good about themselves, bitch, make you feel good about yourself. I told you one time before. I don't know what you dealt with or what you dealing with or what you make your family go through or why your family's scared of you. But I am not scared of you. I remember somebody said, "Are you scared?" of You be the person I let me hit you five times hard in the face. You wanna you want you you wanna apologize. You wanna can we be friends? Let me hit you five times and let you feel that so you can feel every lash that you gave to people. And even that wouldn't be enough. And then after that, let's see. That little hoe ass trick and I'm talking about somebody else in the family, but they know who she's that help ooh, ow, ooh, ooh, ooh. You fucked around with Mark Ali. I told you I gave it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Thank you, mother. Thank you, daddy. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Let's uh look at the grass. Look at the water on the grass. Look at the water on the grass. Look at the water. Look at the water. Look at the water on the grass. Okay. It's the people who talk about be kind. Be kind, but you're not kind. You're anything and everything but kind. I don't give a fuck if this hurts you or you feel everything now you now you feeling what i went through last year you feeling what twitch went through you feeling what that that you're feeling with that beauty queen who took her life who she was supposed to be top of her game and everything and next thing you know she's killing herself it's that energy i'm not saying you all had anything to do with that i'm saying but you're part of that entertainment industry you're part of that energy where you know people people are becoming their best and then you want to suck up that energy and you want to make it yours and you want to steal them and you want to get them in uncompromising positions and then you want to take pictures of them and then put them all out on the dark web and they don't even know what's going on because you drug them it's the shit that you do it's the shit that you do to look Lord God Almighty, if I had a chance to kill all of you, I would. That's what I know. Oh my God, Daddy said, if I put you here to kill all these haters, would you? Yes, but I really am not a about that life okay because I, technically I'm a peaceful person so I had to check myself and go woo girl let it go let it flow pay attention to your military tribe okay because they do this on a daily basis they go out and they kill the bad guys and then they feel some kind of way because it's a hell of a compromise and these people in the entertainment industry rappers and politicians aside if you've never been in a real war then bitch you don't know so how the fuck you gonna talk about mental health and mental therapy and they need therapy too when they can't even get it and that's a fact Jack you ever hear a soldier tell you how hard it is for them to see a real therapist how the government how their own government or their own military claps back leaves a, it leaves a mark on your record so who helps the helpers who helps the helpers I guess where it's me st st stating some facts, stating some story. So I am important to this story. I am important to this town, more so than these clowns. But you go ahead with those fake-ass activists, and those fake-ass preachers, and those fake-ass teachers, and those fake-ass community leaders. I know why you want me dead, but bitch, let me tell you something. I'm going to be a hard kill because the bottom line is if I go, you're going to go. I'm just saying, my mom and daddy ain't playing about me. If you grew up with my mom and my dad and you saw the energy that we had on 1861 Bridge Street, I don't know who lives there now, but that used to be our house. Then you know, my mom and my dad don't play about me. And if I say my mom and my dad is God, then my mom and dad is God. But I didn't realize that the hating energy, happiness haters, that's become the new energy. That's become the new industry. Happiness haters. I didn't realize that people are actually mad that you have a happy childhood. It's a trend to have a horrible childhood or to have so much vengeance. Men are horrible. Women are horrible. Women are sluts. Men are cut. Whatever it is. And children ain't shit. Whatever it is. All this is sick. And in, in between time, you got good military kids growing up and looking like, what the fuck? Yeah, we, just, we do talk like that about two or three, but we drink beer at two or three. <laughs> We can handle it. You can. And I want them to know. I want them to know when they come outside. What they're running up against. These people are going to be jealous of you. Just because. Just because. 
That's it, just because. They're jealous of you just because you're you. You're smart. You're different. Parents who actually tried to help you. Is that? Oh, that's a B. Hey, B. Bees love me because I'm the honey. <laughs> the real bees. Bzz, beehive, don't come after me. Your little bitches need to sit your little buzzy busy. I, you, you got you got some shit to work. Okay, let me say this to the beehive. You better first find out about some real bees. Okay, real bees. Because when the real bees start disappearing from your community, your community's in trouble. And let me tell you something as far as for when you can't pay your bills, when you need money for real, is she gonna help you? Absolutely not. They just spent fifty thousand. They just spent millions and millions on a house, and what do you have for it? What are you getting, Penny? What are you getting? Are you getting paid to do what you do? See, it's one thing being a fan. Be a fan, but don't be a fan to where it's a detriment. You're putting money into folks who honestly, really don't give a damn about you. They'll never come and sit with you on no level, <laughs> unless you pay a thousand dollars for two minutes. And this goes to politicians too community. You're electing leaders who don't give a damn about you. They just want your votes and they want to sit in that office and they make money doing nothing. That's why nothing changes. Murchison Road used to be so much better than it was today. But you elected the same leaders and they don't do shit. What, what's there to talk about? There's nothing to talk about. The radio stations aren't going to tell you nothing different because it's about money. Everybody's making money. Remember when I used to tell you that, but you know, they got me off the radio or either I quit. I know the dog's barking again, so the dog's telling you I'm telling you some shit. Remember I told you don't pick don't don't just go for Democrat or Republican. Check out the person. Don't check out the labels, don't check out the colors, check out the person because there are some people on the Democratic side I would never, ever, ever, ever vote for. And I know these motherfuckers. And there's some people, I have some people, one of my lawyers that helped me on my mom is a Republican. I would vote for her anytime because I love her character. So you mean to tell me that I got to vote Democrat? And, and it's the, the whole labeling system is wrong. Why do I have to label myself as one or the other? Why, am, why, why, why can't I label myself as a... Uh, 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 independent or something. Why do I have to register as Democrat or Republican when I am neither? I don't like those motherfuckers over there, and I don't like those motherfuckers over there, and I might like that person, but I don't like that person. I might like that person, I don't like that person. I'm supposed to pick the whole stew and the whole family? That's what that right off the bat needs changing. That right off the bat needs changing. Everybody who feels like we need that change, say it, speak it, speak it. We demand not being labeled as Democrats or Republicans because all you motherfuckers are sus. It's like gang members. Are you a crypt or you a blood? Bitch, I'm purple, so I'm neither. Don't come up to me with that shit. See this? See this? See this? This ain't Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, okay? God damn. Damn it, y'all motherfuckers got me hot. No, don't try to put me in some to a cell block that I don't belong in because I will fuck y'all up. Now, some of y'all say, oh, y'all, you just speaking from fear. Bitch, this ain't fear. This is speaking from intelligence. Intelligence has a consciousness. Intelligence has a feeling. Intelligence will whip your ass. Intelligence recognizes intelligence, whether it's artificial, alien, or whatever it be. Maybe it's army intelligence for all to see. Maybe it's who knows. Maybe it's extraterrestrial intelligence. But whatever, whatever we see, we don't like it. That's why change is coming, whether you like it or not. So be glad that I came here. Because if I came here, that means change is coming to this community. Everywhere I go, something major happens. Everywhere. How do I find out? And I'm talking again to my bestie. And we're both history, polit pol political sides. So it's good when you can actually talk to somebody that you know. And how is neither one of us? How, how are we history buffs and we ne we did not know that Rockefeller land was here? Who knew? How did these some of these leaders, you community activists and stuff? How did you like not know about this? Or maybe the land didn't speak to you. This land is magical. It speaks to me from day one. Thank you to Marjay on that. Martin North Node, my brother. 
I'm not alone. My family became clear in 2022 and 2023, as well as my mission. And none of these people will have the balls to say what I have to say because they're scared, okay? They're afraid the devil's going to get them. The demon's going to get them. The government's going to get them. The industry's going to get them. And yet here I, here I am, little five foot three me, sitting on my porch, my little ranger manger. Who was a Christian singer, gospel singer, who, who talked about people who didn't have money? Ask again. You got to look at these churches that they pocket watching you. Remember how you used to go to a church to see if it fit you when you were looking for a home. Now they, now you go in and they want to first see if your pocket fits them. Fuck all these motherfuckers. God knows them not, and they do not know God. But they are about to. So remind you when I told you that. I bet you you're going to see a lot of... I'm not going to say nothing. But you're going to see a lot of changes in these churches over the next couple of years. Mark my words on that. No cap. As well as the industry. As well as many of these celebrities. Disappearance, 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 disappearance. You should have never came for me. There's a slim to none hope. A slim to none chance. Very slim to none. That one... But I don't know. I'm a softy. But I'm not that soft. And I'm not that little trick bitch either. I'm not soft and I'm not that little trick bitch. So you can take that cue and that queen and that and 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 and, 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 and that tree. <laughs> well. And that cry, and you take all that shit. I'm like Melanie Cole for real, man. I don't look back at bullshit. I cut off everybody I cut off that was my family. I won't even look back. No cap. My cutoff game is that cold. When I cut you off like that, I miss nothing. How can she? I love deep. Military brats are like that. We love deep, we work hard. And when it's over, it's over. I won't. I don't have to look at any of them for nothing. I need them for nothing. There's not a damn person that I'm missing right now that I need anything from. They can't do shit for me. So when I feel that level of betrayal, it's cut off. You're already R.I.P. Why call me? Why bother? I'm on the other side of the dimension. We're not even on the same plane. We're right here in the same space. But we're definitely not in the same lane. So there's no need to have conversations with stuff that doesn't matter. So to the slim to none chance, I don't think you can do that. I sense something in you that's powerful than everybody in your whole entire, and I mean your whole entire family and your crew. However, you are surrounded by bullshit that will do nothing for you. But you got to see it. You got to feel it. You got to know it. And it's sad to say, I don't think Oh. Oh man. Camera's going out. I don't think you can do it. Impress me. But they can't come. Not where I go. I don't want to see not a one of them ever again. You owe me about a billion dollars in 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 uh, in uh damage pay. I expect that, okay? Before we even have a conversation. Oh, I said a billy. But I'll take my two hundred thousand dollars. Is that your payoff? And never see you again and never mention my name again.